The music, you know, the music is a, a huge part of my work. And that was always my way of saying who I was and how I felt. In those days, you didn't speak your feelings as much as express them artistically, you know. And so I was always able to cry or laugh or say I was angry through the tips of my fingers on the piano. I would go to the piano even the, when I was five years old and start to, uh, to play how I felt. And so it was very natural for me to become a composer. And having written all of the music for the neighborhood, I feel as if that's one of my gifts to children. Here is a way that doesn't hurt you or anybody else to say who you are and how you feel. I just remember that uh, my grandmother gave me my first piano. Uh, before that, I had a little pump organ, and it was $25. Isn't that curious that I would remember that? But that, that seems like a little bit of money now. But I imagine in those days, it would, would have been like $250 now. But that pump organ, I, I just made it play. And later I got a Hammond organ and started learning to play both hands and feet. But there's something very m mystical and wonderful about how music can touch us. You know, it's elemental. I, I wonder if that's why I don't feel so close to people like Yo-Yo Ma. I mean, I, I, uh, Yo-Yo's been on our program quite often, and he's a, he's a good friend, and I drive along, you know, in my car, and sometimes I'll put on uh, one of his tapes that is an unaccompanied uh, suite of Bach, and I think that this must be what heaven is like.